Hawaii Volcanoes National Park has been busy. Today is the third day of the new eruption at Kilauea. KTV4's Hawaii Island Bureau Chief Jeremy Lee is live. So Jeremy, you're telling us that locals are saying something is unique about this latest eruption. Good morning, Jeremy. Good morning, Cynthia. And busy is right because even when I arrived at four in the morning, the parking lot was bustling. And you can see why just behind me. You know, when I called U.S. Geological Survey on Wednesday morning to talk about this eruption, the questions I was asking were, how big is it compared to when the volcano ceased activity back uh, in March? Is it a larger eruption? Is it smaller? Is it about the same? But the question I should have been asking, how impressive is it? And locals who have been up here several times before and seasoned professionals all agree that this is quite the sight to behold. Now, I was up here with Matthew Patrick of USGS, and he pointed out what many have marveled over. And I'm going to zoom in, Cynthia, so you could see a closer look at this. But there's a mini cinder cone uh, coming out of a little a fissure that's coming out of the side of the crater. We're going to show you a closer look right now. I'm going to zoom in and take you on a little tour of what we are seeing right here behind the camera. But as I said, it's a pretty impressive sight. There are many folks gathered here at Kilauea Overlook. That's where I'm shooting from right now and showing you this impressive look at what I was talking about just then. You could see right there. Now it's a little windy, so we're getting a little bit of friction in the camera, but I'm gonna go in even closer and you could see what's going on right there on this side of the crater, which I was talking about. I'm just gonna hold this shot because it's so incredible. I had a chance and we're gonna hear from folks in a later broadcast, locals who I got a chance to speak with who have been up here, as I said, several times before, and they are, you know, left awestruck, really, at what we're seeing. I'm gonna pan across the, the crater floor here. Of course, what we're seeing has been reported by USGS as a 371 acre lava lake that has taken up space in the crater right now. I'll zoom out just a little bit, but you could see there are all of these lava fountains and streams which continue to uh, amaze onlookers right here at Kilauea Overlook. I'm gonna pan over so you can see a little bit more of just how exciting this is. Okay, here we go. And you have all of these fountains, just dozens upon dozens of them, impressive to say the least. So stay with us here at KITV4 for Good Morning Hawaii. We are going to bring you a couple of more live shots here from Kilauea Overlook. And I have a special time-lapse video as well, which I shot. And you're gonna be able to look at the caldera here at Hale Ma'u Ma'u like never before. Stick with us, reporting live at Kilauea Overlook, Jeremy Lee, KITV4 Island News. Wow, Jeremy, mahalo, Madam Pele. This is just amazing gift for us in Hawaii, looking very amazing. And we want to say that these mountains of lava, plus these fountains in the central eastern portion of the crater's floor are just phenomenal. And it definitely, like you said, awe-inspiring. And of course, you can Keep tuned to KITV4 for the latest updates on the Kilauea eruption. And Jeremy's going to be bringing us more live reports this morning as the information comes in. Plus, check out our stories at KITV.com.